for some live girl chat. Are you guys oh. ready? There's so much to talk about. Yes, so much to talk about. Don't forget to head over to the Real Daytime's Instagram page and use the hashtag Girl Chat Live to join in on the conversation. First up, if you think people were mad at Kanye West for wearing that Donald Trump hat, Oy. you ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> Kanye, who's been making headlines lately for tweeting his thoughts 24-7, decided to stop by TMZ Live yesterday for an in-depth sit-down interview. And people aren't exactly pleased with one specific claim he made on the show. Take a look. You hear about slavery for 400 years? For 400 years? That sounds like a choice. <laughs> like, you was there for 400 years and it's all of y'all? You know, like, it's like we're, we're mentally in prison. I like the word prison because slavery goes di too, too direct to the uh, idea of blacks. It's like slavery, Holocaust, Holocaust Jews, uh, slavery is blacks. So prison is something that unites us as one race, blacks and whites being one race, uh, that we're, one, we're, we're the human race. Well, Kanye's opinions didn't sit well with many people, especially TMZ producer Van Lathan, who confronted Kanye in the newsroom immediately after his remarks. Take a look. Do you feel that I'm being free and I'm thinking free? I, I, actually, I actually don't think you're thinking anything. I think <laughs> what you're doing right now is actually the absence of thought. And the reason why I feel like that is because, because Kanye, you're entitled to your opinion. You're entitled to believe whatever you want. But there is fact and real world, real life consequence behind everything that you just said. And while you are making music and being an artist, and living the life that you've earned by being a genius, the rest of us in society have to deal with these threats to our lives. We have to deal with the marginalization that has come from the 400 years of slavery that you said for our people was a choice. Frankly, I'm disappointed, I'm appalled, and brother, I am unbelievably hurt by the fact that you have morphed into something, to me, that's not real. support from so many people who praised him for, quote, schooling Kanye and giving him a much needed history lesson. So what was it like to stand up to Kanye West? Why don't we ask Fa Fan? Fan, are you there? Yeah. 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 Fan, I'm a fan. Okay. <laughs> Is a fan. Yes, yeah. you're a fan. Van, thank you so much for joining us today. People everywhere are applauding what you had to say to Kanye yesterday. What made you decide to speak up? Uh, he was speaking to us. Like, he typically, when people come in and do interviews on TMZ Live, they talk with Harvey and Charles, uh, and they, they're up on the stage, and you can chime in if you want. He decided that he was going to turn around um, and address the room directly. Uh, and when he addressed the room directly, he asked for critiques of his opinions. Um, and one opinion that he had was woefully inaccurate and dangerous. And I just thought it was incumbent upon me to let him know that. Now, Van, I am so glad you did. At one point, you guys were arguing. You were arguing with Kanye, and then he told you to stop screaming because it, quote, makes us look crazy. What went through your mind when he said that? <laughs> <laughs> That's what you think makes you look crazy? No. Um, <laughs> For real. No, uh, what, uh, what went through my mind is look crazy in front of home. Whenever I, I talk to people about, you know, you're embarrassing black people, you're setting black people back, you're doing these things, whenever someone comes up in front of who? Who are we trying to look pristine in front of? What, wow. what standard are, are we attempting to meet? The standard that we should be attempting to meet is the standard of our ideas and our values, and that's our standard. Yeah. So, brother, yeah. if, if we got to scream a little bit right now, then we got to scream a little bit and everybody else going to hear us scream. Exactly. Wow. Well, last night, Kanye sent out a series of tweets clarifying his comments, saying in part, to make myself clear, of course I know that slaves did not get shackled and put on a boat by free will. My point is for us to have stayed in that position, even though the numbers were on our side, means that we were mentally enslaved. So, Van, does that at all change how you feel? Absolutely not. Um, <laughs> and, and the reason it doesn't is because of two things. Number one, uh, slavery was a multi-front war that was fought against people of color. It involved the ripping apart of families, it involved actual physical chapels, it involved 
uh, all different types of things. And you can't sum it up um, by any one thing. And there are history books out there that everyone can be free to read uh, or is free to read on the atrocities of slavery. Yeah. Um, when you start breaking it down by choice, that is doing a disservice to the survivors that my Absolutely. ancestors were who endured all uh, those terrible things. And I could be on the room talking to you ladies right now. And whatever happens going forward, uh -huh. those people will be respected and revered. That's you right. are so well spoken. You really, yeah, you you. really <laughs> are. When I watch the clip, I have to tell you, especially because maybe the environment that you work in, you know, you would assume that you would go for the headlines, go for something super dramatic, but the way you handled it and the words and the choices, uh, the choice you made to use the words that you did is a great example of how we should all treat each other today and when we disrespect or when we disagree with each other. And Van, I commend you for that. This that is so a thing. Good. Remember, we always say on this show, Van, that we think that all people, we need to have diversity, especially in our newsrooms. We need to have a Jamal the intern. That's, That's our what running she joke. Calls it. <laughs> you were my Jamal the intern yesterday, <laughs> bro. Yes. You were there. You were. Now, Van, TMZ is reporting that Kanye, he might have trouble regulating his meds based on what you saw yesterday. Do you think Kanye is stable right now? I, listen, I'm not a doctor. Um, right. I, I don't know. I know that the stream of consciousness rant uh, that we witnessed from Kanye West uh, yesterday is consistent with the Kanye West that we've always known. He's always sort of been that guy. Um, obviously, in the last years, we've, we've covered it here at TMZ. He's had some mental issues, and I'm not sure whether or not he was having them then. But what I do know is it really doesn't matter to me. It matters to me as far as how he's doing, and I would want anybody uh, to be doing well. Yeah, yeah. But Kanye West has such reach and such power um, that his words matter and they resonate with people. Yes, yes. And because of that, we have to make sure that those words are sensical and uh, that they are landing in the right spots. And it's not about calling him out. You don't want to call anybody out. It's about calling them in and letting yes. the brother know when he's off his square. Yeah. I want you to be my friend, man. <laughs> Let's be friends. Let's friends. hang out. Man, friends. you are such a good soul. Good guy. Seriously. Man. Thank you so much for taking the time to chat with us today. No problem. I appreciate the time, guys. Thank You're you. Awesome. Bye, Van. Bye. Make sure to watch Van on TMZ and TMZ Live every day. Check your local listings for when it's on in your area. Wow, ladies. Oh, this wow. is definitely a lot to take in. Yeah. <laughs> what did you think when you first heard Kanye's comments? Well, going back to what Van just said, I, I, you don't know if he's still on anything, but I'm just like... Is it still in his system? Like, he could have just had some water, maybe, just to, like, clear it all out? Because it seemed like it, it was hard to follow his thread of, 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 of speech, you know? But I will say this. Amidst everything he said and the hurtful words that we can't remove, what I did catch on to is that Kanye cares. He cares almost too much about what people think about him. And before he made that comment, he was going into, you guys make fun of me. You guys make fun and call me fat. You guys are the reason why Rob didn't go to the wedding. Like, the things he thought about traumatized him and made him go to the point of admitting as a rapper that he got lipo. Is rapper and lipo even in the same sentence? Like, I didn't think yeah. people do that. You know what I'm saying? I, I just, so I just, yeah. I feel for him though, and I, I feel for him now because I see that he just overly cares about what people think. And then when Van was hurt and stood up to him, what we didn't show in the clip is that he went to Van and he said, I'm sorry for hurting you. I'm sorry. And so I just, I think that it's one of those situations where when you care so much about what people think, we talk about it here all the time that the comments can hit us and it gets you. But imagine the amount that he gets and the pressures that he's dealing with. I just really hope you get better, Kanye. I really, really hope because I look up to you and I want to see you do better and I respect your music. I don't want to see you go down. That's all. Okay. I watched the whole thing, and I'm, I'm a huge Kanye West fan. So many yeah. of us love his music, and it was heartbreaking for me. I have to be honest. Um, I felt scared watching it. I, I felt sad. I wasn't sure where the conversation... It was kind of all over the mm -hmm. place, and that's scary. And you, I literally was like, you think of his family. You think yeah. of his children. You, you like... I felt sad, and I don't know how to even, do you know what I'm saying? Even in the moment when he was saying, you guys called me fat. And in that moment, I just heard what he had said prior to that, which was 400 years of slavery. And even with the comment of being enslaved in your mind, you're not in shackles. You weren't brought from somewhere else in a boat. And 
You, you were enslaved in your mind, so imagine those people. Well, you know everybody wants like... the um, Monday quarterback slavery. Slavery was real, just like the Holocaust is real, and it's dangerous, the, the conversation that he was having. That's why it's important for us to talk about it, because this is what happens when you don't have uh, history lessons in school, when you don't teach social studies correctly. You have people like him trying to spread misinformation. I am so happy that Van spoke up and that there was somebody there to actually, you know, kind of reel him back in. Um, there is some psychosis, I believe, um, that's happening with him. You can tell. Um, I deal with mental illness illness in my family. I deal with drug use. I grew up with around, uh, and I'm not saying he is this, but yeah. I've grown up around drug Same. users and uh, mentally ill people, and there's something going on with him in my mind, okay? Yeah. I want him to get help, but also, as we get help, we have to be able to speak out and, and the things that he's misinforming people about, because the bottom line is, here's a lot of things that he was saying. One thing I do think he has an issue with Barack Obama, because Barack Obama called him a jackass because what he did with Taylor Swift. Yeah. And ever since then, he's had this vendetta against Barack Obama, and he's upset because, you know, of that. Then it's th the whole, you know, he's trying to sell an album. Well, you don't get people to buy your albums by discrediting your own people, okay? Yeah. Yeah. You get, it's not gonna work. It's, I actually agree with Adrian. Oh, it's just I know, I agree with you. When I, when I was watching it, I actually had to, like, turn it off. Because one, I was just confused. Like he was just, you know, going Spewing. all all over the place. I really couldn't connect his thoughts and really get what he was truly trying to say. So it literally made me it made me sad. And so sad. Like you said, Jeannie, you, you can hear that he actually he's a very sensitive soul yeah. and he cares too much about what other people think. He's coming off as, you know, I'm this free thought, strong individual, but at the same time, and I mean this with the utmost respect, I see a person who's who's weak, yeah. who's who's weak in the mind. And actually Cardi B was talking about this, you know, uh, when she receives a lot of negative comments. She wants to protect her, protect herself from becoming insane. Yeah. You know, you can care too much, and you can let the public define you so much that you actually end up losing who you are. Yeah. Yes. And yeah. that's what I kind of see yeah, what's true. going on. He's trying to please this. He's trying to please that person. And I immediately thought of his family, his his kids. One day, they're gonna have to see this. And another thing is, where are the people that love him? Because I know that if that was my husband, you know that cane that you see on the Apollo? I would be like, come on, baby, come on, come on. Let's, well, let's, let's, think, let's, let's go somewhere and, I, and, and you know what? And let's try to get... I totally He's agree so with you, and those are personal issues, yeah. and I get that, but at the end of the day, he cannot disrespect my ancestors. No, that and, and are okay. I, I truly believe yes, the accountability for what he did. This is the question that I want to ask. You, you I, I, I truly believe he doesn't, he's so in his own mind, he doesn't understand the weight of his words I, yes. and his, 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 his platform in the right way. Yes. He understands his platform in other ways about getting attention. Yes. But I, I want him to, to literally ask himself, if he met his ancestors, would he have the guts to actually say that to them in their face? Well, I mean, it, it, look, look at what he did with Van. Do you know when what I mean? Van, when Van approached him, he even had to think, because he had that look on his face like yeah. this. Yeah. Yeah. Was, you know, he had the look of, it, what did I know, just say? Right, it and then that's process. when he went over to him, and he yes. was like, you know, I'm sorry if I yes. hurt you. It's like you had to pull him in. Yeah. So you are correct. There are people around him that maybe, you know, you got a lot of yes people. You have a lot of people yes, that sir. really yeah, don't, but that's you know. that's love. Love, love, no. yes. Says, step in and like, yes. Yes. No, but you know what? I'm gonna tell you something. We're gonna keep checking Kanye so because we're not gonna let him re readdress our history and, and trivialize it. That's not gonna happen. Not as long as I'm on TV, not as long as Van is on TV, and go to Twitter because there's a lot of people that believe in that.